I got a live one, Calvin. It's got a little bit of corrosion going on. You think? Uh-oh. <laughs> Not so good. Baser's tight. No extra rattle. Huh. Kind of funky. Know. But it is something in there. It's gonna have to come apart. We are back with our blue buddy. Who's got lots of corrosion problems and other things we saw on some other Tech Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But we care about. Knock, knock. Who's there? We got some issues in this headset. This who's here. Sometimes you just gotta dive on in, and that's what we're gonna do. Truman, try me. Try Alan. Why don't you get that there and let's start taking things apart. Stem cap off, stem bolt off. Now, careful, because the forks just hit the ground. So I yeah. always grab on here. This one is not, this one's not coming out, Truman. This one. That one is stuck. I think we got some uh, oh, corrosion issues We have here. some issues going on. So, there's a lot of corrosion on this bike. <laughs> uh, a frequent spot where you can see some corrosion is underneath the headset spacers on the steer tube. Mm -hmm. Why there, Calvin? The, the drip, sweat gets down there, moisture gets down there, and nobody thinks of looking there. Yep, comes right off your face onto, your, onto the top of the head, top cap and yeah. down into the stem. Yep, so I think we could, we even get that knocking. I think right. somebody's in there. Yep, yep. So All what right. issues, what are we gonna do? First, just try and pull with our fingers. That's not working. Yeah, not working. We can't just get these out with the fingers. As luck would have it, we have carbon spacers here. And when things aren't normal, Truman, what time is it? Hammer time. This is what we're talking about, some more force downward. He's got the fork, he's ready to strike. I'm holding this out of the way. You got zero. Progress! Yeah! Uh, we're that, hitting. That corrosion has some serious holding power. It's created thing. some serious uh, pressure. All right. We are hitting our head against the wall at this point. Yep. What, well, what, I'm just comparing pipes here. That's all I'm saying. So, <laughs> not with the hammer. Nothing there. All right. At this point, more funds to be had. So I'm gonna go back with the wheel a little bit here to, to hold for a little more leverage. We're gonna come in with some destructive Force. Got wheel in place for leverage. I'm gonna be holding. One thing we wanna mention quickly is our friend heat. Mm -hmm. Heat expands things. It could work not so great here. No. Carbon, pretty stable. Doesn't yep. expand or contract too much in different temperatures. You're gonna just run into issues because the one thing you want to shrink is gonna get bigger. So some cold, I'll put some cold here, I'll squeeze it with some dry ice. That's so practical. Oh. Yeah, it would be kind of fun to fill the whole thing. If you had a walk-in freezer, it might be fun yeah, to try it. That's some right. little thermodynamics kind of stuff. Well, we're gonna twist these spacers off of there. And yep. I've got some leverage here. And I've got some leverage here. So, twist and shout. One at a time. So we yes. got some movement on this top one. A little motion, nice. It's coming good. Let's get a little bit of a lubricant on there. Something thin, we're going with something thin here. Something that they can get down. Yep, in there. let's see if. All right. Yeah. If there was no motion at all, what would you have done there, Truman? Probably would have really tried to break these. Yes. The good thing about the carbon is it is breakable. Much easier, it's easier to break them than other things. So okay. break them right off. Let's twist it. Oh, oh man. Oh yeah, yeah. Life okay. is good now. <laughs> yes. Ah, we're gonna see some corrosion below. It's getting deeper and deeper. Keep it going. Oh, that's good. Yes. 
and he's got space, okay. It's a success. Well, I think we might take a step back. Are we going back to? Hammer, hammer time. time. <laughs> Grabbing the hammer, and what? Not needed, this is a bit odd. This never happens. These, usually when you have enough corrosion where the spacers are stuck on, your top cap's gonna then be stuck. Okay, now what, what else might be stuck? Is this one stuck? No, well, this one's coming down. Oh my goodness, so this compression ring, which has a little taper on it that goes mm -hmm. into the bearing and it has a little, sl a little sl slot in it. As this gets pushed down harder, it holds harder. As you pound it here, it would tend to squeeze tighter and tighter. Boy, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah, but this one's free. This is uh, very lucky. So if you're experiencing this, yep. you might not get so lucky. <laughs> Be happy. So we're pulling this apart and we've got to determine we're gonna suspect some bad bearings or something loose. We're not sure. So this one, this feels smooth and nice. Truman, what do you got there? I got nothing here. This seems wonderful. The wear is extremely consistent on here. There's no sign of a knock being caused. No, yeah, no impacts, no looseness. That stays the, on there. The bond looks okay. This, there is an issue with this top, but it not, nece not necessarily yeah. causing a knock. I mean, this should be popping out by hand. This one comes out. This is an integrated headset. This has a seat inside. The bottom one just came out like it should. That's normal. Top one. Mm, seated it in. It feels really good too. Feels smooth. Smooth, is, yeah, it's good. So I think, like we do on our computers, there's a problem with them. What, what do we do? Sometimes you just shut it off and turn it back on. That's what we're gonna do. So on our terms, it's gonna be grease it, put it back together, readjust it, and we're gonna see what we got. We've got the correct amount of spacers. We're not gonna go with the old ones. Cracked, chewed, just not good. So we got a stack here, matches, should be fine. Should look normal. Is oh. there better? There, yeah, could, could be better. You know, mm -hmm. it depends on what, you, what you're thinking. But uh, what, I've, what we've found in the past is that uh, it's sometimes easier to remove carbon spacers. Mm -hmm. You can grab onto them harder. Um, they, you can break them off. You can break them off in small chunks if it comes to that. Wait, wait, are you saying this bike may see corrosion more? You may, it may happen again? Yeah. I'm gonna, I would bet money on it. <laughs> so even though we're gonna save some weight here and be ready for corrosion, run some carbon. Okay. Then yep. our stem on top. And now, Get that top cap. A little top cap. Who's not there? There's, I'm not hearing any jokes. But no play, smooth and nice. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, Let's get a wheel good. in there. Down on the ground. Sounds good. Nothing, Here nothing. The reboot, sometimes that happens. You take it apart, wipe it. Good lubrication, back in, good. It could, it could have been due to the spacers. Could there, it, we didn't feel any play in the bottom, but there no. had to have been something going on. So it could have been those spacers preventing the great compression happening in the whole, in the system. So. Something was moving against something, but we got it, we're gonna take it. Done. We'll see you next time. Duck Tuesday. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. 
so be sure to subscribe for the latest content from Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.